We have an update for you on the senior living apartment fire that happened on Sunday morning. According to property director Nancy Repke, the fire initiated on the second floor of Carriage House, causing two people to be treated on scene for smoke inhalation. The source of the fire is still under investigation. As some of the second floor units are currently considered unlivable, some residents called family and friends, while others were transported to the Days Inn for a single night stay paid for by the owner of Carriage House Apartments. The Red Cross helped the cause by distributing vouchers to help pay for lodging and food during this time. However, some displaced residents without family in the area are concerned about where they will stay if their units remain unlivable longer than the voucher can provide for. Don't tell me that you can't pay for every night that we are here at the day's end. I said, you should be able to handle this, no problem. However, Stratford Group, the manager of Carriage House Apartments, says some people will be able to return home as soon as tomorrow. We're anticipating that the majority of the residents will be able to move back in tomorrow. And there will be a few who are still displaced, but the majority of the residents we're anticipating um, tomorrow. Repke says it is too early to decipher when the second floor residents will be able to return to their homes, but contractors are currently on the property assessing the damages. Repke adds that they have been in contact with the displaced individuals and will continue to be until the displacement is over.